they say absence makes the heart grow fonder, so y'all better really love what I'm about to do. Welcome back to Jedi Knight Jedi Academy. After about a week of voting because of things happening to me and I didn't get to play video games, it seems that the overall winner was the Dual Sabers. Can't really see it here, but they're Dual Sabers and they're pretty awesome. So we are going to go with one Sentinel Hilt and one... Uh, let's go with the Agitator. And then one blade will be... I'm kind of colorblind, so I can't really see these very well. Let's go with something really different. We used to use yellow. So let's go with one that color and one that color. Let's go. Now that you're a Jedi Knight, Luke and I have decided to give you some more challenging missions. You still need to be careful, though. Trouble can crop up anywhere. Trouble can crop up on your face! So we're gonna go to Shandrilla to investigate a cult sighting. Some of a tomb and knights. If they knights. are indeed attempting to steal force power from that tomb, Tavion might be there. Be careful and call for assistance if you find her. You look really bored, Luke. Come on, man. We're gonna put another point into rage, and then this mission is actually 100% um fighting people with lightsabers, so we don't really need weapons like this, so it doesn't really make a difference. Now, I don't usually like to talk about this, but I feel a, an explanation is needed for why I haven't played this game for so long. Knock that guy off a cliff. Shoom! New lightsabers! God, double lightsabers are awesome. Aha! I knew you were here somewhere. I feel I need to give an explanation for why I haven't played a video game in so long. Get off of me. Get off of me. Um, I have actually come down with a pretty major sickness a couple days ago. I was in the hospital for a day or two. Um, so I didn't really have enough time to do any sort of video games. And if I did, my commentary would probably have consisted of bleh, uh, uh, kill me, oh, I'm gonna die. Um, so, yeah, back now, as you can see, probably, I hope. Um, and yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I'm feeling, feeling mostly better now. Um, I'm still a little bit congested, but you know. What you gonna do? I'm gonna kill that guy. That's what I'm gonna do. And we're gonna head on. I'm gonna hope that I remember my quick save button. There we go. I can hardly see in this thing. It's like being a stormtrooper all over again. You were a stormtrooper? Yeah, but I couldn't stand taking orders, so I jumped ship first chance I got. Smart move. By the way, the boss gave us orders to patrol the North Hall. Okay, let's go. How about you just explode? Boom. Boom. Out of my way. And you see, they're not all going to be using Retreat. lightsabers all the time, but they are going to be like guys with guys with force powers. So that guy's pretty easy to kill. He gives us a stroke of concussion rifle, which is one of my favorite weapons in the game. We saw it a little bit earlier, and it, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it can do this. And blow that guy up. So now that we're a Jedi Knight, we do have level 3 attack and defense. So you can see we can now, if we're not pressing anything, deflect blaster bolts back at where they came from. Which is incredibly useful. It lets us uh, have some sort of defense against those guys who like to stand on the other side of the game and shoot at you in the f in the face. So you can kind of just be like, hey, I'm going to shoot you back with my lightsabers. And while they're confused and wondering how exactly you do that, did that guy jump off a cliff? I know there was two of them over here, and I shot one, and the other one, like, dodge rolled, but I guess he fell off a cliff. Oh, well. Oh, jeez, that... I forgot that that thing actually breaks. You don't want to fall down here. I don't know if I need to tell you that, but in case I do, it will kill you. Oh, hello. No, come here. Come here. Oh, come here. Go away. Now, 
in the break, I have been playing a lot of this game's multiplayer. Yeah, one guy was smart enough to run away. I've been playing a bunch of this game's multiplayer, and I thought force choking people off of cliffs was fun just by itself in this game. No, that's a lot more fun in multiplayer, because then you can hear the other person go, Oh, why did you do that, you jerk? At least you can if the person you're playing with is on Skype with you, like I usually am. God, I love what blue and purple lightsabers look like together. Oh, it's a bomb. Hey. Hey, guy. Hey, guy. What you doing? Setting up a bomb? I don't appreciate that. That blows up the bridge, but thankfully we have four sleep level three. We can make it. Now there are enemies up here. I sense you, Jedi. The fight in this room is one of your first big tests as a Jedi Knight. You have two lightsaber wielding enemies. A Jedi. <laughs> yeah, a Jedi. Yeah, I'm right here. Come on, come get me. Come get me. Fine, I'll come get you. Drain! Give me back your health. Now remember, when you're knocked on the ground, you want to avoid them as much as possible. You can roll or you can do a flip and that guy died a lot easier than I expected him to. Oh, there's three of them here. I forgot that there was a third one. Uh, put me down. Let's take some damage. It's fine with me. No, stop it! Stop it! Stop! Put me down! No, not lightning. Drain. Drain! Drain, I need more health! Ugh. I need more health! Get away from me! Thankfully, like I said in the video uh, explaining these, the dual sabers are very um, defensive-minded. So in low health situations like this, you have a bit of an advantage over the other styles who would have less of a hey I'm not going to die situation you know what you guys are close let's do this that's a good trick because this is pod racing right guys come on just die I've killed better men than you Okay, let's let our force recharge a little bit so we can heal ourselves and then push this guy off of us because force grip is really annoying when the NPCs do it. Now for anyone wondering, this attack, not that one, this one. No, do it! Why can't I do it? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, like I said, this is a... This is a, a bit of a test for your new, you know, fully powered up lightsabering stuff. Take two! Come on! Like I said, it's been a long time since I've played this game, so I'm a little... I'm a little out of practice. So, forgive the fact that I'm kind of terrible at this game. I mean, that's, you know, how it was before we took ourselves a little break, but, you know... Just saying... Keep it up. No, do the... Oh, I don't have enough force power. The special abilities do take force powers to use. And how did I drop my lightsaber? I guess he knocked it out of my hand. Alright, that's one down. The other one's dodge rolling out of our way. I'm just going to switch over to drain so we can get some of our health back. Ow, oh, he just took a hard hit. Let's quick save so I don't have to run through the entire level again. Oh my god, really? Ugh, I'm not going to cut out any of my fail takes against these... I forgot he was right behind me. Against these guys, because I want to show that this encounter right here against these three is kind of like the, the game's way of saying, Hey, wake up, it's time for the game to actually start now. It's time for the hard fights. And there will be some fights later on that take ages to fight through. 
I'm not even I'm not even kidding. Like I think my last practice run of this game, the um the final boss of the game took me probably about forty five minutes overall from the beginning of the fight to the end. Because no spoilers or anything, but there's Final boss works kind of in stages. You fight it one way, and then you fight it a different way, and then you fight it a different way. So, it can be a little challenging at times. Ugh. Change how I'm sitting, so maybe I can actually play this game like I actually have arms. Which, uh, if, if you don't know, I'm actually playing this all with my teeth. It's kind of challenging, but I have a, I have, I have a working setup here. I've gotten this far, haven't I? Anyway, what, like I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted, this attack... No, do it! Come on! That attack! Right there! Blech. Like I said, I'm still a little bit sick, so... I, I was like, you know what, I'm sick, but we're going to record something anyway. This attack is called the Butterfly Kick. It can be done by both the two saber and the double-ended saber. Uh, while running forward, press jump and then press attack. It's really quite useful. It's more useful with a double-ended saber, but even if you don't use it as a as an offensive move, it can be useful because it moves you very quickly in a straight line across the battlefield. So if you if you need to get into a better position, there we go. Get some. If you need to get into a better position uh, when you're fighting, that's a good way to do it. Anyway, where do we need to go? We came in from there, so we need to go this way. Uh, by pulling this door? No. Pushing this door. No. Uh, sensing this door? Do we need to do it right there? Pull. There we go. I knew it was some combination of force powers. Oh, that thing was glowing too. I guess we were supposed to stand there and pull it. Oh well, I don't play by anyone's rules. A Jedi. Yes, a Jedi. Your doom awaits. You will die by my hand. Oh, double-ended versus double-ended. Very long, drawn-out fights. Well, no, these aren't double-ended. These are just dual-wielding. I can't even remember the proper name for my own style. Well, it is, um... Form 6 Shien. If you, if you want to get technical about it. If you're a nerd like me. Thing is, I'm not even that huge of a Star Wars fan, so to say. I, I was talking about this with my my cousin a couple days ago. I'm not even that big of a Star Wars fan, really. I just really like lightsabers. And, like, the whole idea of Jedi. But the, the storyline never really did it for me. I can understand why people would like it. But the storyline was always kind of meh. I appreciate what they were doing with... At least the original trilogy, the story they were telling. Um, if you saw my fight against... Uh, I don't want to mix up their names. Not Jaden, the other kid. Oh, hello. If you saw my fight against the other guy in the last real episode of this, um, I did go off on a little bit of a tangent, if you remember, about how cool the symbolism in the lightsaber fights in the uh, original trilogy were. So... I guess it's just like the storyline was always kind of a little bit kind of meh for me, but lightsabers, I mean, come on, really, lightsabers are just awesome. And that, that's cool too. And I've always liked the idea of the Force. Like, I, I know, don't, don't get me wrong, I know that the Force is a completely fictional thing. Even if there are some people out there who like to write down Jedi on their census, that's, that's kind of a funny joke, I do, I do like that. But pew! Oh, darn it. Yeah, I forgot those guys are lightsaber. Well, they're not lightsaber wielding, but they're force adapt. To get over there? Are you one of us? There's no escape. Um I've always liked the idea of the force. There's no escape. No, can I pull him? No. Can I just is this where I'm just supposed to force leap? I think that how am I supposed to get over there is supposed to be Jaden kind of doubting his or her abilities. You won't get uh, oh no, I just missed. Is I, I I freely admit this is kind of a 
part that I kind of forgotten how to do. Maybe... Oh, I run down there! Duh! And it's sad, because I've played this level more than any other one, because this level is, as well as the Tatooine level, the very first level we did, uh, back, way back when we were with Chewbacca, um, are actually in the Jedi Academy demo, which is available for free pretty much anywhere. So, way back when I was a little itty bitty Twinkie Madness, I played that demo... Oh my god, so many times. You know what? You take forever. Get out of here. And you. You know what? They come in threes. I played that demo to death, and I had actually forgotten what Star Wars game it was. It was... I knew it was Star Wars Jedi something something something, but because it was so many years since I I had actually lost that computer, the the hard drive crashed and it caught on fire and the monitor slept with my girlfriend and it was just terrible. So I had actually forgotten what the name of that the game was until about a year ago. My cousin was like, "Do you?" This is actually the same cousin that I was talking about it earlier. He and I are both uh, pretty big into sci-fi and Star Wars and stuff. Um, he was like, have you played Jedi Academy recently? And I was like, that's what that game is called! Yes! So I went on Steam and I saw that, uh, actually, quite luckily, th um, the very day he, remind he reminded me of this game... Uh, Wait, what was going on? Oh, I couldn't attack there for a little while. The very day he reminded me of what this game was, the entire Jedi Knight um, series was actually on sale. You can get all the games on Steam for like five bucks. And I was like, yeah, I'll do that. So I then took it, and I didn't sleep until I played through the entire game. I did it all in one sitting, and it was... It was really quite awesome. I, I enjoyed it. And I enjoyed it so much that I played through it again a second time, and then I played through it again while talking about it for the internet. This place is amazing. Seems yeah, it's pretty great. Forever. You can't actually get up there. I don't know if there's anything up there. Probably a secret area, but I'm just too lazy and impatient to figure out how to get up there. Great. How am I going to get down there without breaking my neck? If I remember this guy right there. Here. Get out of here. Oh, you're mad. He was like, I'm gonna f I'm gonna force push you so that you stop force choking me. And then he died. That's what you get. You were gonna die anyway, but you had to be insolent. Here's where the game starts getting some of these actually kind of cool platforming elements. It switches from a th from more of like a first third person shooter hack and slash sort of game to almost a puzzly third person platformer because now we have fully upgraded force jump so we can go way high up force jump force leap Dang. force thing oh that guy's got a blaster how's it feel being so terrible that you didn't even get your own lightsaber they were just like here have a gun I'll put you out of your misery. You two, you don't even have a weapon. Come here. Get out of here. And you. See, if you're looking for easy mode in this game, you can really just max out your force grip as soon as possible. Because really every normal enemy, so to speak, is vulnerable to it. Free target practice. So you can just kind of whoop off cliff or into the wall or stick your head in the ceiling or whatever you want to do to them and bump your mouse while you're trying to adjust yourself in your chair because you can't get comfortable. Come here. Cut that out. Come get me, Jedi. Ew. Bump. Slam you into the ground. Oh, whoa! That went well. I picked one up and slammed him into the other one. Let's see how good you All right, are. now this is going to be a major fight. I don't know if you can see, but those guys both have two lightsabers. So this is two against one with six 
lightsabers. You won't get far. Let's see. You know what? You Let's try it a little bit of force speed. It slows the entire game down for the player. I may have shown this off before, but never on its fully upgraded level three. It slows everything but the player down. Like I was saying a little bit earlier, how you can't use this to move through levels faster. Um, and it, it, it can give you a bit of an advantage, but these guys are both like boss level. If you remember in the last level, I don't know if he was in the last video, but the first time we saw someone with two lightsabers, he was kind of like boss level. Both of these guys are on that level now. And you can see they're using Dark Rage. I don't want to use Dark Rage until I get the next level point in the next level. Because um, it actually drains the user's health to give them a bonus attack. Oh, we're just going to force lightning that guy to death. And... Speak, um, back on Force Rage, if you don't have Force Rage fully upgraded, it will drain your health all the way down to 1 before you really have a chance to do anything. It won't kill you, and you can't die while using it. Duh. Oh, and we're all the way back here. Come on, guys. But Force Rage won't kill you, and you can't die while using it. But it's really common to... You know, force rage yourself all the way down to 1 HP, and then as soon as you're down to 1 HP, force rage will, will stop, and then you get stabbed by someone, and then you die immediately. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Can't you see that I'm in a hurry? I have video games to play for the internet! And I'm actually going to get a new desk today, which is pretty awesome. I'm looking forward to that. Because... Oh! Oh! Two versus two in a... No! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Oh god, that hurt! I don't know if you've seen... Um, I put up a video a little while ago of like the room that I record in because people were like, let's have a room tour! Which I, I don't mind. I, I actually liked making that video. Um, but I don't know if, if you saw like the way I record, but I'm just going to kind of like like a really small table in front of the TV that I usually use for my game systems. And it's really kind of uncomfortable and hard and weird. And I don't know where this guy is. So let's see if we can do this in single player too. Oh, you can't stick. In multiplayer, you can stick to walls. Stop. Where are you? It sounds like you're over here. I heard your lightsaber. I know you're here somewhere. But yeah, once I'm done recording this, I'm going to set it to render and set it to upload and blah, 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 blah. And then I'm going to go get myself a new deck. How did you get up there? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why are you up there? Come down here. You're ridiculous. Come here. Come down here. Force pull. You can't eh. escape. Eh. Come. Come here. Oh my god, what is... How did you even get up there? How did you even do that? Can I get up there? I want to get up there! I'm going to keep talking to this weird voice! I don't know why! Can I throw my lightsaber at you? You can't escape. Fine, stay up there. <laughs> Works for me. I'll just skip you. I'll just go on and fight your boss. This is the last guy in the level, I think. Kind of a cool touch. You can see the character's breath. This game came out over ten years ago, but it's still got these cool little touches. Kind of shows how advanced PC gaming was over consoles back in the early 2000s. So we're going to start this off by grabbing ourselves some health. And this guy is the offensive-based double-sided lightsaber. My personal favorite looking in the game, but... I have I kind of feel that the the two lightsabers suits me better. More of a defensive fight style. Come on, get off of me. If you're going to grip me like that, at least take me out for dinner first. Apologies if I've been a little Wow, he was a lot easier than I had ever expected him to be. Apologies if I've been a little Shut up, Jaden. 
if I've been a little quieter and not as, like, I don't know, into it as usual, because I'm still feeling the effects of that sickness, and I'm still feeling the effects of that I was in the hospital for a little while, so, yeah, give me, if you feel that I've been a little less, um, less animated than usual, that's why. Alright, so we have some stuff to do here. We need to, as you heard Jaden say, we have to seal the tomb. Oh, by pulling, pushing? What do we have to do? Oh, push it. Yes, that was a Steam message. Uh, I am on Steam. In case you, uh... Don't know what Steam is. Steam is a video gaming thing. Do it. Rest peacefully. Oh crap! Everything's <laughs> everything is starting to fall down. Let's try to get out of here. Whoa! That was almost gonna kill me. No, let's see if I can get out of here before being crushed by a giant rock. Yeah. See? See? You got crushed by a giant rock too. Ah, I think that's as far as you need to go. Yep. And there's the body of the guy that was all the way up on top. And that should uh, keep anyone out of that tomb. Sealing that force energy forever. So you didn't run into Tavion. That's good. And bad. At least you stopped the cultists. But we can't keep this up forever. We've got to stop Tavion once and for all. I agree. Let's go find Tavion. I've been tracing Tavion's movements over the past few months. It looks like she acquired the scepter from a collector on Commoner. Then she killed him. Oh, really? I like this lady. Wait, what am I talking about? She's a... She's a Sith. I'm not allowed to like her. But still, she took it and then she stabbed him. Sounds like my kind of person. Alright, next time we're going to go to Tanab, which always made me think of Banana. I don't know why. And investigate the cult. Uh, hopefully I'll feel better then, and I'll see everyone next time.